Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to Just Brain. It's been a minute. Happy New Year. I hope you guys had awesome holidays. Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, Happy everything. 2022 for us was really, really beautiful for so many reasons. And today I just wanted to come on and like memorialize and document some of the lessons that I've kind of been sitting in and reflecting on the last few weeks. Oh, before we move on, please hit that subscribe button. This is just a really fun way for me to kind of document mine and Brandon's memories, how Carmi is growing. So I would love for you guys to come along on the ride with me please hit that sub button okay moving on my first lesson is really all about self-acceptance and this year I really leaned into accepting and being comfortable with the fact that I don't look like or feel like the woman I did one year ago five years ago ten years ago that's okay it's supposed to happen we're supposed to evolve and hopefully we come away not alienating ourselves or shaming ourselves for the person that we were or not alienating our loved ones around us but yeah self-acceptance and like permission to evolve was really one of my biggest lessons. All right, lesson number two for me this year maybe had the biggest impact, and that is finding fulfillment in some of the most hardest or triggering moments of parenthood can be healing. I'm not an expert, I'm just sharing some of the things that have worked for me as we've entered parenthood or even just personally, not even as a mom. But conscious parenting and respectful parenting and the focus of really looking inward and regulating our own emotions and being aware of what we're triggered by before we're trying to correct our child's behavior or influence their behavior. Just being with her and sitting with her in those moments has helped me not lose my sh complete shit in moments of parenthood this last year. I don't know if that all makes sense. Okay, lesson number four. This is kind of a random one. Design the household that makes sense for you. I got really into utilizing different spaces of our home this year in different ways, like whether it was for crafts and art with Carmi or baking for me or like an updated office sort of set up in our master bedroom because my mom retired and moved in with us upstairs. More on that to come later. But there's a lot you can do again with like designing spaces around your house functionally and practically that make it feel more like home, more accessible for your toddler, and overall just like a more generally happy place to exist in. Finally, I think a really big lesson for everyone was to just hold the people you love tight. If you need to shift things to make that happen, to pick up a phone, send a car, drop off a note, or move someone in so that your daughter can have that many more people around her that she can call her safe space, it's never too late. Merry belated holidays to you all. Happy New Year. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting Brandon all these years. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. We love you. Bye bye. Uh, I got a present for you. Aww. <laughs> I think that's for you. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I got you got a you got dinosaur? dinosaur? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that cool? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>